Hi, my name is Zara Altair, and this is Right Time. I want to talk tonight about setting up your email welcome system to be automated in MailChimp. I'm using MailChimp because so many people use it, and I do myself. So, one of the things you want to do is brand yourself as an author so the first step if you go into the mailchimp dashboard you'll see up at the top campaigns templates lists reports automation so the first step really is to set up your template and um you can import images and then MailChimp gives you notice that when you're setting up your template, it's used only as a template. So any changes that are made in the template do not affect any drafts or anything like that. So I understand and continue. So you can import images if you like. Um, to You can edit the text for whatever you want it to be you can add a link to your free book um, and it's all pretty straightforward so I do suggest that you set up your template first because it's something you're going to be using in all of your emails so when people visually recognize your brand you the author okay and then I in, I was prompted to do this because a fellow author was what had written an email in MailChimp and each time he got a new subscriber to the list he would copy that email and then send it off but there's an easier way to do it and MailChimp calls it automation so um you can set up your automation. I suggest that you set up a sequence of about five emails. So it isn't just a one-time welcome, thanks, get your book, bye, and then uh, nothing until you send out your um, newsletter. So the sequence pretty much goes... So Let's go to automation now. And I call it my welcome sequence. And um, I'm going to edit this. When you go in, MailChimp will give you one email and then and then you're going to use your template to set up the email and edit everything that you want to say on the email. Now this first this first email is about your books in a very generic way. And welcoming them, welcome, oh, welcoming them, welcoming them to the list, and also a link to the free book. All right, that's pretty much what it takes to do that. And let's kill that. So the first email is definitely a thank you. It's a thank you. You introduce yourself. You introduce your books. And make sh and you make sure that they get that free offer. My free offer is actually set up in the thank you, but once again in that welcome, I send them another link to the free book. So that's about a day after they join the list because maybe they missed the thank you email that had the link to the book. And you just want to make sure that that's that they get that book and they do get an official welcome. The second email in the sequence, these are all going to be automated. They're going to go automatically when somebody joins your list. So 
The second email is really short. It's, did you miss the download I sent you? So, um, maybe a quote about your book for me because I write historical mysteries. My quote is, history is different, people are the same. Um, so, just, you know, a real short, quick, once again, offering them that free book because that's what they signed up to get. All right, then about three days after that one, this is when you introduce yourself. You tell them about yourself as an author, uh, a little more about how you started writing your books and what prompted you to do that. Anything they might be interested in about you, the author, and your books. And then you give them all the links, social links that you want to do. I highly recommend that you have a link to your Amazon author page, that you have a link to your website if you have that, and then any social media like Twitter, Facebook, if you have an author page on Facebook, um, and if you're on Goodreads, link to your author page on Goodreads. So it's just a way to encourage these people who now have received your free book and by this time maybe have even read your free book and to tell them a little more about you and how they can how they can connect with you. All right, so that's three days later after that second email. The fourth email is all about you, the person. Thanking them again and then, you know, Pictures of you at home, pictures of you out hiking, pictures of you doing whatever your favorite thing is to do. It doesn't matter if it's knitting or your iris collection or whatever it is. It's the way to get you to know you on a personal basis. Any pets you might have, um, letting them know that, yes, you're a real person so they can connect with you in those ways, too. Oh, yeah, I have a golden retriever, too, or whatever it is that sparks that little personal connection they have with you. So that's about a week after you've done the first three. And then the fifth one, the last one, is a week after that. So now you've been with them about a month, and this is going to be the last of the welcome series. And in that fifth email... You're going to invite them to get your books free for life. And they can do that by signing up to be a beta reader of all your books. They're going to get them free. They're going to get them before anybody else does because they're going to read the books and give you feedback. And now, not everyone is going to do this, of course, but you want to extend that offer because... Beta readers are so great for giving you feedback. So let's take a look at this one. Just so you can see what it's like. Our computer's being very slow. I apologize. Here we go. I'm so sorry. I'm going to skip that part. I'm not I'm going to make you wait for all of that. Um, but, oh, here we go. Edit your... I think the, la the last one is really important. It's it's about bringing, bringing your readers who are your fans, who've read your book, who hopefully have purchased more books, and bringing them into your inner circle, as it were. Um, you don't need to call it your beta readers. You can title it on a theme of, of, you know, thriller lovers or romance lovers or, you know, fans of your main character or whatever it is, but that you're offering them those free books for life and the opportunity to really support you in your career. So, anyway, that's the sequence that I have set up. I know there are different sequences that people set up. The benefit of doing an automated sequence is that 
when once someone actually joins your email list you don't have to personally go in and copy and paste an email these emails will go out to the people on the list in the sequence that you set up so you're going to set it up one day three days three days one week one week um so that's about it and if you have any questions be sure to get in touch and i hope this helps you and boy in the long run it's going to save you a lot of time and frustration so thanks so much